two years, the anniversary, and I was, I was very touched there about some of the lines you talk about, your breaths were not enough, and you went into that building three times, three mm -hmm. times. Do you think once you go in once, do you think you're lucky to emerge and you worry about the second time? Do you think your luck is running out? Or what, what is your view once, twice, three times? I think with any fire, there's always a potential um, that something might go wrong. You, you know, you're, you're dealing with a very unpredictable force. Um, on that night particularly, after the first time, um, it was quite harrowing. Is your red watch, you were on a night shift, so yes, you were correct, actually asleep yeah. at this point when the call came. What were you told and, and what unfolded when you got there? And when, how quickly did you realise that this was so horrific? I mean, we realised it was a large fire from the outset because of the information we get through on the, on the teleprinter on, on our call slip at the station. We went on what we call Make Pumps 20, which means um, they were asking for additional resources at the fire. So we knew that there would be 20 fire engines, so including us when we arrived. Fire. So exactly, yeah. So we know that's going to be a large fire. Um, on the way there, that message um, changed again and they requested an additional 20 on top of the 20 that we were a part of. So, so when you first got a glimpse of the tower, yeah. Did anything prepare you for that? When you saw it ablaze for the first time, what was your reaction? You expect when you attend a fire, you expect... Uh, you, I suppose you build up a picture in your mind of, of what you're going to see, what you're going to find. That was like nothing that I've experienced before and hopefully ever will again. And I think that was the same again for every firefighter that attended. You know, you, you turn up expecting to see a fire in a window or maybe a fire in two windows. You don't expect to see flames from the fourth mm. floor to the 24th floor. And, and I presume when you turn up to a fire, you said you see a fire in a window or a fire, you think this is the fire that we can control. We yep. can help people, we can sort this. When you saw that tower, what did you think about um, controlling that fire? Was it possible? I didn't really think about that, to be honest with you. I don't think you do. I think you just, you just you, your mind immediately turns to your training, your equipment, your resources and making sure that you do everything that you can do. Because if you've got, on that night, 200 firefighters all there thinking the same thing, all trying to do as much as they could do, you're going to get the best possible outcome, you hope. I know you have a certain amount of time only that you're allowed to spend before you'd be pulled off that shift, I suppose. Um, how was, did that go down with the firefighters? Because we all remember those incredible photographs of them sitting everybody looking exhausted, everybody silent. I'm used to att attending an incident and seeing it through to the end. And on that instance, that just wasn't possible. We'd been there for over 12 hours, working hard for that time. Mm. Um, you know, so when the time came to leave, I was, I was upset that, that, that we had to go, but I obviously realised that that was the right decision also. The, the poem, um, poetry's your thing, um, and you write it very well, you deliver it very well, and the film brings it to life. What was your intention for the poem? Was it for you? Was it for the people who lived in the tower? What was it? Initially, it was for me. Um, it was a catharsis. It was a way of me expressing for myself how I felt, making sense of my feelings. Um, it became apparent fairly quickly that that was also something that other people um, could find solace in. It was something that other, other people... Um, I can't think of the word, I'm trying to, 20 years, but it, it's something that other people um, could, could use. Um, could relate to. Could relate to, you thank you, feeling, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, they, other people could relate to it. Um, not just people in the fire brigade, but people in other emergency services as well. And also the people whose families perished in that fire, the people in surrounding houses and flats who had to stand and watch, helplessly watch that. Um, what about you? Have you had any help? Have you had counselling? How are you feeling about it now? We're two years on. The, the fire brigade uh, were, were proactive from the outset. I think they recognised... Danny Cotton is a fantastic commissioner and I think she recognised from the outset um, even, you know, from, from the fire ground itself on the night that there was going to be a need for an extensive counselling campaign. There was going to be a need for extensive support for the firefighters because of the nature of the incident. Um, I've received counselling from the fire brigade. I took full advantage of it. Um, I found it invaluable. Um, Are you it's, still having it's helped me a lot. Um, I finished with my counselling now. I'm, I'm pleased to say that I'm, I'm in a much better place now than I was um, even a year ago. 
Um, and what about when you leave this building or you arrived at this building today and the view that we showed off the the tower just across the road? I, mean... I feel I feel just as upset now about it as as I did on the night and as I did on, on the one year anniversary. Um, the building serves as a permanent reminder um, of, of the tragic events of that night. And I don't think, um, as the poem suggests, there is a part of me that will forever be lost to Grenfell and, and that won't won't ever come back. Um, and and I, I think it's, it's right that that should be the case. 72 people lost their lives. I don't think that should be forgotten ever. OK, well, Ricky, um, memories live on uh, with, with your poetry. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, a you. pleasure uh, to meet you and to hear and see it. Ricky Nuttall, thank you very much indeed.